Hey guys, just a quick thing. Um, the video on the second half of this episode is really bad. I had the light in my eyes and couldn't really tell how far away I had the, the camera or how shaky it was. Uh, I apologize for that. Here's another Run with Wombat Run. Episode 12. I counted this time. Alright, see ya. It's gonna be a short run today. I, uh, doctor, I gotta go to is just right up the road, so I'm gonna run up there, see him, run back. It's a nice day out, it's windy, I thought in the sky, so I don't think we're gonna Yeah, so I'll see you on the other side. Okay. So I made it. Didn't die in traffic or die of a heart attack. It's only 0.7 miles. So I run farther for Sunday. It's just unfamiliar route, unfamiliar territory. A lot of crossing roads. Lord, to sweat my eyes today. Ow, don't poke yourself in the eye. Uh, so, it's taking a minute to cool down before I walk into the doctor's office. All nasty and sweaty. I'll have something to talk about when I get home. Alright, see ya. Ah! So, on my way back to the doctor's, uh, started running. Pretty bad heel pain. Uh, so I think we're gonna walk this way. I don't think uh, it'd be a good idea to hurt myself. So I'm gonna take a nice little walk back. So I was having a conversation with another YouTuber today and He was talking about uh, the latest vlog he put up. It was about his propulsions and fears. And so it got me thinking. My dad died. <laughs> and I don't fear death, right? I know I know I'm gonna die. Uh, what I fear is dying, I guess. Um, the loss of control of my life, the inability to have quality of life. And my dad didn't die before I got to Illinois. He died three days after I got there. So I had to watch the strongest man that I ever knew. Um, he looked like a skeleton, and it it scared the ever living shit out of me. The, the next tales. Um, my weight scares me. Um, I'm big, and. I'm relatively, I'm mobile, I can run, I can move, I can bend, uh, but I feel like I'm on a borrowed clock for that, and that doesn't make me feel great. But that's really my only huge fear. Uh, I don't like spiders, but yeah. Compulsions? I got a whole lot of those. So, compulsion, bad habit, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I peel and chew my fingernails. 
which is horrible. Uh, I, I binge eat, which is part of that. But I think one of the weirdest compulsions I have is I have a tendency to count the letters in words. So I'll say in my head, like, this is a dumb idea. And then I'll use my fingers to count out T-H-I-S-I-S-A-D-U-M-B-I-D-E-A. Now see, that was good because it ended on an even number. Like that would have been 11 digits, eight digits, or nine digits, letters that would have been weird and I would have tried to rearrange the sentence to come up with an even number. Um, I don't do it often, but I do do it. And it's strange. I know. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other weird compulsion that I'm willing to talk about. Uh, not really afraid of heights. I used to be. Um, took a trip to uh, Sears Tower in Chicago. Went up the observation deck. Hung over the edge till I puked. Not afraid of heights so much anymore. Um, let's see, compulsions though. Things that I'm driven to do. Yeah, really counting the numbers is the only one I can honestly think of that's like weird. Right, every other one seems to be like a habit, almost. So, Michael Fire, it's not quite a staple in your thumb, which, oh, hi, woo, can't even think about that. But it is something weird that I do. Moving on to other subjects, I'm I'm not doing well with the food at all. Uh, I'm going to say a lot of it has to do with my dad dying and just not being in a good place to worry about what I'm shoving in my mall. I miss it a lot. So, YouTube, what compulsions do you have? What what things do you do that are weird and freaky and, well, let's not get too freaky, right? I don't want to get a, I don't want to get a content hit, um, but I do want to, I want to, you know, know what, what you, what you do that Maybe you count letters too. Maybe you've gone through your entire life thinking you're really weird and just find out that you're not or somebody else like you. Because believe me, anything that you do that you think you're unique in, chances are somebody else is currently doing it, has done it, or is planning on doing it. And I'm not saying that to make you feel any less special because you're special. You're a snowflake, right? But people are people, and original ideas are hard to come by. This lighting really messes with my night vision. I think I'm going the right way. So I'm just about home. It's time to wrap this bad boy up. So hit that like button. Smash the uh, share button borrow Peter McKinnon if that's something you're into and uh, comment below let's talk about it but until next time you're the internet I'm the wombat and until we talk again have a good time see ya